Yo, right, guys, this is Game Boy Luke here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Go. Uh, today, we are behind the desk. We're not out and about. You know, every other episode, I decided I was going to take a seat, back seat, and just review footage that I've recorded whilst I've been out and about without my camera. You know, I've been playing this game um, without recording some of it. You know, I, I, I basically, when something happens on screen, I, I quickly put my screen recorder up and record if it's, if it's important uh, and stuff. As you can see, like, I was sat in my house, and a seal randomly appeared, as you can see from the screen. Um, but yeah, I, I, I want to do, like, every other episode back here in the seat, because it's, it's really, really hard to kind of, like, have my camera on me at all times uh, when something when something random happens in Pokemon Go. You know, I went out to Bristol, which you'll see clips from in, in this in this video as well. But uh, we were out in Bristol, and we found some crazy stuff, and I caught a whole bunch of new Pokemon. You know, eggs hatch when I walk my dogs and stuff like that. And I can't capture all of that, because I can't sit here and record, like, 10 or 11 hours of Pokemon Go footage in the whole day and then break it all down. It would take me so much time to do, and, um, yeah, I just... I, 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 you know, you don't have to con cons consistently record yourself over and over again. So, basically, what we're, what we're going over right now is some clips that have been recorded over the last week or so since I last played the game um, in that in the video. But um, the clip you're watching right now, I actually took my mum to a shop, and around the shop were two Pokemon that I hadn't got yet, being uh, Abra and, uh, and Shelda, which you can see right now as I'm failing to, to to throw Pokeballs at these things. But it's been really really cool because last night actually uh, I didn't record anything crazy from last night. I did catch some cool Pokemon, but I didn't record anything. Um, but basically, um, I went out to the town center like 11 p.m. last night till 1 a.m. with a couple friends and just hung out in the middle of town playing Pokemon Go. But like, it's so crazy how this game is bringing people out of their houses at like 11 a.m. and stuff. It's it's absolutely ridiculous. Um, I think I actually you know that's a lie. I did record footage uh, yesterday of me fighting in the gym, which you will see probably towards the end of this because this is in it's in chronological order. It's all in. Um, it's, it's all ordered out and, and when which was recorded first and which was recorded last I do believe that I recorded footage of me taking down a gym uh, Yesterday it was against like a super super strong Lapras, but now Pokemon Go has been really really addictive uh, I'm really really enjoying it and I'm actually starting to put money into it I understand you don't need to do that But in order to progress quicker and faster I have been putting money into this game for example you can um, buy egg inc incubators and I had no idea you could do that and when I walk my dogs I'm like okay let me just buy like two egg inc incubators and just go for it and, and, and hatch these eggs because in the last episode I'm pretty sure we had a 10k egg that didn't get the chance to hatch which will hatch actually I think he's gonna hatch just about now you will see what we get from this egg and I was kind of surprised I know here it is right now uh, I was really surprised I, I was expecting you know there are there apparently are like you know um charts or, or tiers of what 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 egg what, what each egg can get you. But as you can see, we did get an onyx egg out of this 10k egg. And I learned that the, the bigger the egg is, or the, the longer you need to take to hatch the egg is, uh, you know, gives you more candy. So we had 29 onyx candy from that. Um, and obviously we got the onyx from it as well. Um, so it's really, really cool that if you, if you have a 10k egg, I'm pretty sure you can get like Scyther and Porygon and Pokemon like that. And considering they're not their Pokemon that don't evolve yet, um, you can basically just feed all your candy to them and power them up to, to the sky and down. It's absolutely ridiculous. But, um, yeah, so I was saying we were in the city as well. I want to say very quickly, like, you find most Pokemon or most rare Pokemon in, like, city centers and stuff like that. I thought I was really, really fortunate because I lived sort of in the I lived sort of in the country. You know, oh, yeah, the Pokemon, they're going to live in the countryside, you know. Why would they be in the, in the city center and stuff like that? But, you you know, it's it's I think it's all down to, like, the populated areas. The more populated your area is, the rarer Pokemon you're going to find. Although I do think as well that it does somewhat... Um, your, your environment does somewhat matter because I, I heard or I saw on Twitter that someone was at like a wind farm or electric wind farm and they found that, that their whole like um, what is it the, the list of the, the Pokemon that are close by they they found like Magnemites um, and Voltorb and Electrode and it was at this electric wind farm which makes sense um, but I, I've been going to like areas that have like water like I walked down this canal and we found like a Seedra but I, we didn't get the chance to catch it because it didn't come up but it was on the nearby list um, so I guess the environment matters somewhat, but I also think that populated areas are very, very lucky because if you can you can just sit down in a city center and put down like six lure modules, which is crazy. And you just have all these Pokemon appear and stuff. I've even heard of like businesses and cafes and stuff like that. You can go inside there and the Pokestops around that you can just put lure modules in and sit and you know have a good have a coffee or whatever and wait for these rare Pokemon to appear, which is super, super awesome. But uh, as you can see, I'm, I'm pretty much, we were basically in Bristol last week, I'm pretty much just scooping up every single thing I find. I uh, obviously am hatching ha eggs at the same time. Speaking of which, right here, uh, my egg hatched and I actually got a Growlithe. Uh, I was actually waiting in McDonald's, I think, at the time. Um, but Growlithe appeared, and then uh, I think uh, because I put two eggs in at the same time, I put Growlithe away, I take a step, and the other egg hatches. And I was so dumbfounded, I was like, I really want Growlithe and I really want to get Vulpix, right? What do I get back to back? 
Growlithe and Vulpix. It was absolutely crazy. And I, the person I was with was like, I'm so jealous. I can't believe you just got two fire types back to back. The two fire types that I was talking about that, that night back to back in eggs. It was so awesome. So unfortunately, it's going to be really hard to evolve those Pokemon because um, you know, if I hatch them from eggs, it'll be quicker in terms of getting candy because they give you so much when they, when they hatch, but I don't see them very often. So I don't get the chance to just you know, catch these Pokemon and evolve them like I do with Weedle and Pidgey and stuff. I do have a little, a couple, a couple tips towards the end of this, uh, this clip though, because I do have uh, a method of um, gaining a lot of experience um, due to uh, friend, friend, friends' advice and just what, what I've, what I learned along the way. You know, there, there are lucky eggs in this game and they do boost experience by tenfold. So it's really, really useful to have those if you don't have them already. Um, but yeah, this, this clip right here, I was in Bristol and we were walking, I think, either to or from the the smash venue we were at uh, at 8 bit planet in bristol uh, go there every thursday if you want to hang out but um yeah we're walking through and i found polywell and i also believe the next clip coming up i find slowpoke um one thing one crazy thing that happened is because in the building for whatever reason the gps kind of glitches you might see as well like when we go into the building we kind of teleport halfway down the road for some reason but whilst we were in there i was so upset because we found a Jatini and I caught it like four times. And it was like the situation Nappy had with his Arcanine. He would walk in there, he would catch the Arcanine, his game would freeze. He would reboot, walk the same place, and the Arcanine would reappear. And it happened like six, five, five, six times with this Jatini. And it was really, really bothering me because I was like, I really, really want this Jatini. Why can I not catch this Jatini? And it just kept freezing over and over again. And I missed out on Jatini, which um, was a really big shame because I honestly really, really wanted it. I just, it was just, you know, I just can't have nice things. I just wasn't allowed nice things on that day. Uh, but, you know, regardless, we did catch a whole bunch of new Pokemon. As you can see, I caught a Poliwhirl right there. And as, as I mentioned there, we do get Slowpoke as well. Uh, I honestly really, really like traveling to the nearby cities and stuff. And because the, the, the town I live in right now is, is not populated greatly. You know, it's not like a city or anything like that. So when we go into the town center, we find some cool stuff, but it's nothing crazy. Uh, it's just, I got, I mean, it's a good place to go to catch the same Pokemon over and over and over again. Because uh, I can, I can then evolve some of the the, the, the harder ones to find, sort of like Shelter, Ghastly, those Pokemon. I really want to get Fero. I really want to get Fero. I have no idea why. I really want to get Fero. Um, right here, as you can see, we are actually. It, this is where it was like teleporting me down the uh, down the street for some reason. But as you can see, my nearby, there were Electabuzz and Haunter around my area, and I was really upset because I couldn't, I couldn't find them to, to save my life. It was ridiculous. But the fact that Electabuzz was even on my my nearby list was like, okay, he's here somewhere. Where is he? Um, obviously, I'm there to play Smash, so I didn't really go out and about too much. You know, when we left to get food or when we went back to my car to drive back, that's when we started finding all these Pokemon. As you can see, we found a, a Rhyhorn here. And it's kind of cool because we found two back-to-back -back Rhyhorns, and, you know, the CP was kind of high for one of them. So I was like, okay, that's sweet. I'll take that. I will take that. And, you know, my, if your CP's low, then you're going to find lower level uh, Pokemon, or lower CP Pokemon, rather, I shouldn't say level. Um, but it is random. See, I got a 256 Rhyhorn right there, right? And then this Rhyhorn, Rhyhorn over here was like 20s or something. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's like, he's 14. It's like crazy. It's, it's, it's a, such a, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? It's such a distance or a huge gap in CP between the two I just found. It was ridiculous. Um, the last thing that happened whilst we were in Bristol, though, and we actually went out of our way to try and find this guy, and we couldn't find him for the, for the life of us. And you're going to see in this clip just now. But as we were walking towards my car, Aerodactyl appeared on our nearby list, and I freaked out. I was like... Where is this Aerodactyl? And my friends and I, we were wandering around trying to find it. We walked in the right direction because the steps went down to two. And then we went back and he disappeared. And we walked around another corner and he came back and we just couldn't find him. You know, I was walking around asking people, you know, have you seen any Pterodactyl Pokemon? Or Pterodactyl-like animals flying around or anything? Because I really wanted this Aerodactyl because it's hella rare. Um, we didn't find it and we drove back. Um, fruitless, you know, we didn't get the Aerodactyl, unfortunately. Which was kind of shitty, but you know, it's whatever. We Hopefully we'll find, we'll find Aerodactyl somewhere soon. Um, but right here, actually, we are um, catching a Weedle. You might be wondering, why are you showing us that? You know, you catch Weedle all the time. But this is this is the little trick I did in order to gain uh, a lot of experience. I don't need a lot of experience to get to level 12 here, but I really wanted to get there and record it. Basically, what I'm doing, is you can see I'm evolving right now. But basically, what you do is you get Lucky Eggs, and you, you feed a Lucky Egg. It lasts for 30 minutes, and then you just catch Pokemon that are really common in your area. You know, like Rattata, Pidgey. Weedle, you know, I see those three Pokemon more than I see anything else, and I have hundreds of Rattata candy. And basically, you set up a Loggy Egg, and you get 500 experience for evolving a Pokemon, right? It doubles that experience to a thousand, so you basically just evolve two Pokemon. And if you evolve a Pokemon into something that you haven't got in your Pokedex, like if you have evolved a Poliwhirl into a Poliwrath, you get an extra 500 for that, so you get 2,000 experience for evolving one Pokemon, right? So if you evolve 
I don't know, four Pokemon that you haven't got in your Pokedex, you're going to get so much experience, it's going to take you up a level in an instant. So, um, as you can see right here, I have the Pidgey, and I, ha I, know, I know I have enough candy to evolve this Pidgey, so I'm going to go ahead and evolve it into Pidgeot, and it's going to give me enough experience, uh, either just to, to, to before, just, just to uh, level up, or it's going to push me just over it. Um, and I also think I had, like, Weedle and stuff like that, I was evolving to Kakuna, because Weedle candy is so easy to find. Um, but that's the best way, I think the best possible way to get experience is to uh, put a lucky egg out, either hatch eggs, because I had like, see right here, I'm hatching an egg right now. That gives you, I think, gives you 500 experience as well, and once again, it's doubled. So, um, did I have this Pokemon? I don't think I had this Pokemon. No, I did have this Pokemon in my Pokedex, because we caught one in Bristol. But as you can see, if we close the menu, I'm pretty sure it, gives, it gave us 1,600 experience. That's crazy, and like, I'm, I'm like 400 away, so I'm just like, okay, let me go to my bag, let me see if I've got any Pokemon I can evolve, and I'm pretty sure I wandered down to this Weedle and, and evolve this guy. You know, I have the Lucky Egg right now, so it's going to boost me up uh, to, enough, to get enough experience to get to the next level, so if you have, like, you're fed up of seeing Rattata, don't be. Catch as many as you can, and then, spot, you know, plant a Lucky Egg, and just evolve it, just evolve them all, just do it. I really can't wait to uh, get Eevee, uh, or get enough Eevee to evolve, because I know that I haven't got any of the evolutions just yet. And you get hundreds of experience for evolving Pokemon into Pokemon you haven't got yet. So, uh, as you see, I got 1,000 experience there and got to level 12, which is super, super awesome. Now, um, for some reason, it didn't recognize that I got to level 12, like, straight away. Um, but at level 12, you do unlock Great Balls. You can't buy Great Balls, but it allows you to unlock them, so it means you actually, you know, you have them. Um, in your inventory and when you spin Pokestops you can actually get Great Ball but as you can see right here boom level 12 nice and easy um, that's probably the main reason why I'm recording off screen most of the time is just so I can get to um, get my levels higher so I can find higher CP Pokemon and rarer Pokemon and stuff like that but I think now that we've shown you all the clips I've been doing I've been, uh, been doing over the last uh, week or so I'm gonna load my phone up and I'm gonna show you some of the Pokemon uh, or just show us our current Pokemon on our team and uh, what levels and stuff we have um, just now. But before I do that, <laughs> I completely forgot about this. There was one last clip I wanted to show you guys, and that was the gym battle that we had, uh, in my town. And, uh, we were fighting against this Lapras, it was a 785 CP Lapras, as you can see. My team isn't particularly strong, it's not stronger than him, and I don't even have flying type, so fighting against this Lapras was pretty much gonna, gonna screw me up. I was, I was sat here like, okay, so I have a Lapras to face. And I have a Golbat and a Pidgeot. He's just gonna freeze me. He's just gonna freeze me. But Fatbat comes in. Fatbat the Golbat comes in. I'm just like tap 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 tap, trying to take this Lapras down as fast as I can. Cause I haven't really taken down many gyms. And it's funny because I did this last night, and the gyms already been taken off me. It's, it's it's crazy. People actually are actively out there tracking their gyms. Uh, so the Golbat's gone. I bring out Icarus, our Pidgeot, and he's he's still you know 300 CP higher than us. I'm taking so much damage right now, but I get my gauge full and I'm able to land a Hurricane because as soon as you get your gauge full, you can uh, hold press and you will load uh, your second skill. And I uh, I'm able to Hurricane the Lapras and take the gym for my own, which is so fun. It's crazy. It's so cool to, to be able to like snatch your own gyms up and stuff in this game. It's 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 really really cool. Alright, so I'm finally going to show you uh, what's been going on in my Pokemon Go. This is actually being recorded two days after the last clip I recorded. Purely because the Pokemon Go servers were pretty much down for the last two days. Uh, Pokemon Go, I think, was released in like 20 odd different countries now. So uh, I, I check your, your um, Android Go Play stores and uh, your Apple Y stores as well just to see if um, the, the, the app is out in your country now. But it's been released all over the place and that meant the servers went absolutely haywire over the last couple of days. So I haven't been able to turn on this game or get into it. But, we're finally in, and I can finally show you guys um, what my team and what my Pokemon I have and what, what, what we're looking like right now. As you can see, we have Fatbat, who is leading everybody right now. The freaking Golbat with almost 700 CP, which is really good. I really, really like that. Um, I do kind of want to run through some evolutions and stuff like that, because we do have a whole bunch of, like, uh, Rattata. And uh, I'm pretty sure we just hatched, uh, literally a second ago, I just hatched a... 200 odd CP or 300 odd CP oddish right here who can actually evolve into weeping bell So what I'm gonna do is before I do anything it's like not like I normally do and I was explaining earlier Is that if I pop this lucky egg real quick? What I can do is go in here get this oddish and evolve it So I'm gonna evolve the oddish. I don't think I've got weeping bell in my pokedex yet So when weeping bell oh my god, I just said we my gloom. Oh my god. Oddish evolved into gloom luke oh, come I saw bell sprout. Okay, so I don't have gloom in my pokedex. I'm pretty sure so once this thing Evolves, we should get about 2,000 experience. There's Gloom and his gloomy, gloomy self. There he is. And once that's done and achieved, we have registered Gloom to our Pokedex, which is marvelous, absolutely wonderful. 
and his CP is 476. Oh, goodness. Goodness me, as a shocking me. Um, and as you can see, we get 2,000 experience for that one evolution. So, what I think we should do is go through and see. That's, four, that's a really good gloom. Let's see if we have any other Pokemon that we've um, we've caught that we can evolve. So, Eevee, I'm pretty sure we need five more Eevee candy, right? And what sucks is I do have Eevees lying around. I have one there, two there, three. I have three other Eevee lying around. So, I needed two more Eevee candy in order to evolve, which is, which is so really annoying. To say the least, it's really, 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 really annoying. Um, let's see, who else do we have? We have Sombrero, we have Caterpie over here. We have 19 Caterpie candy. So I'm saving up to evolve Metapop, which need 54. So I'm just going to keep saving those candy up. We do have a lot of Rattata. So I'm going to go ahead and evolve these dudes because, like I said, you know, you, you pop the Lucky Egg uh, and you just want to evolve as many Pokemon as possible. So I'm going to evolve this Rattata into Eradicate, um, and that should give us 2,000, no, it should give us 1,000 points, I'm pretty sure, 1,000 experience points. And I didn't check my journal, but I think you need like 13,000 or so to evolve, uh, to get to advance to the next level. So we now, we've evolved this little Eradicate over here, his CP is over 200 or so, um, and we're going to get 1,000 experience for that. So I think, see, yeah, we, need, we need 10k, so what we need to do is evolve 6 more Pokemon. That's all you need to do in order to progress and get to the next level, so let's see. Um, Clefairy, we need, oh, we need loads more for Clefairy. We have Paris, we have Psyduck, I'm pretty sure Psyduck needs a whole bunch, yup. Venonet, we need uh, a whole bunch too. Rhyhorn, I only just caught recently, so I don't have any candy for him. Uh, Nidoran needs 14 more, we have Eradicate over here now. Uh, Staryu, I really want to evolve, but Staryu is super f freaking hard to find. I, was, I bumped into it earlier, but it just didn't appear on my, um, on, my, on my game, unfortunately. How much? We have 50 Pidgey candy, so I'm just going to evolve these Pidgey. It takes 12 candies to evolve a Pidgey, so I may as well evolve the Pidgeys that I have. I, you know, I think that's three or four evolutions right there. Um, but this is literally the best way to grind out experience. If you have a Lucky Egg or you want to buy one, go you know, grab one before you evolve everything, because you get so much experience for evolving Pokemon and hatching new Pokemon at that as well. And I have a bunch of eggs I have as well, but I don't think uh, um, I'm going to be walking around a lot today. So we're going to hatch those at all. But let me get to the next Pidgey. Let's evolve this little guy as well. And we shall see. So the, the higher level you progress, I mention this all the time, but the higher level you get, the more experience, um, well, the more experience you're going to get, obviously. But like the more, the, the higher level you get, um, the more Pokemon you're going to catch, the better Pokemon you're going to catch, the higher CP Pokemon you're going to catch. Because I was walking around today in comparison to when I walked around last time. Um, when I want my dogs, I was getting CP like 50, 60 Pokemon, and now I was getting like 200 CP Pokemon, and they were really, really, really difficult to catch. So that's that one caught, another Pidgey, there we go. Just gonna get all the, I'm just going to get all the Pidgeotos right now, to be honest with you. You know, if you evolve a Pidgeotto into a Pidgeot, you're going to get the same experience as evolving a Pidgey into Pidgeotto. So I honestly think Pidgey and Rattata are the best Pokemon you can evolve, because they were... Oh, and Weedle, Weedle and Caterpie to Metapod and Kakuna, because they, um, they are the easiest to evolve, and but they, you know, they give the same experience. So there we go, that's another Pidgeotto right here. Wonderful, he's 246. Um, and we have a Rattata over here, which I can evolve as well. So I'm just gonna do this. This is honestly the best way. If you look up any video, this is what they'll tell you to do. Literally sit here and tell you to do. Go and evolve all your Pokemon, and pop, pop an egg and evolve all your Pokemon. And I'm actually thinking, you know, I hit level 13 like about 20 minutes ago. So if I can hit level 14 now, that, that's that, that's showing something. Because I was pretty much just, just on the border of um, being level 13. So we got Radicate over here. His CP is 328, which is actually really good actually, wow. Um, we have a Weedle, and we have 23, so I'm going to evolve this Weedle as well. See, that's, an 100, that's 102 Weedle. I don't, I, you know, I was catching like 10, 20 CP Weedle before. So we're going to get this Kakuna. Bum, 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 bum. Let me see. So, we have Kakuna. How many Pokemon have we evolved now? Have we been keeping count? Like 4 or 5 now, so it's like 4k experience. Okay, so we got the Kakuna. His CP is 113, so barely changed. Um, we have Caterpie, I don't think, I mean I can evolve Caterpie, but I'm trying to save up to evolve my Metapod, so I'm not going to burn that. Slowpoke needs a whole bunch. We have another Rattata over here, so let's evolve him as well. Because yeah, because Rattata, I mean, it only has one stage evolution, and um, once I evolve this thing, I'll have like 17 candy anyways. So I can use that to um, power up my strongest Eradicate and get him even stronger. Because I'm pretty sure we still have Fang, who took the gym for us um, in that one episode. But there's another Eradicate for us right here. What does suck is that you can't trade these Raticate for extra candy. Like, you get one piece of candy. How is Raditor and Raticate equal in the amount of candy you get given? I want to trade off an evolution and get five candy back or something. I feel like that's more fair. And we have another Pidgey. I think this is the last Pidgey I've got, so I'm going to evolve this one as well. And if we're lucky, if we are lucky enough, we might have just scraped the line. Uh, we might just be level 14 now. So let's see. We're going to evolve this little guy. 
And boom, Pidgeotto. There he is. He is also, he is CP. What is your CP, buddy? Your CP is 47. That's trash. That's booty. But look at my, look, level 14. Boom. You just watched me progress pretty much through a whole level just by evolving Pokemon I don't really have. You know, well, Pokemon, but yeah, evolving Pokemon I already have, rather. All the weak Pokemon. You earn a medal, evolve 20 Pokemon. Look at that. And there's Rattata over there. So, like, at this situation, you just want to grab that. You want to grab that Rattata. And, like, I gained pretty much, like, 10,000 experience right there. The best way to do it, honestly. Uh, any other tutorial video will tell you, tell you the same thing. But uh, that's probably the best advice I could give you with this. So, we'll go back to my Pokemon. They're organized by CP. I have a bunch of training to do because I really want to get um, Growlithe evolved. I want to catch some more Drowsy. Uh, I did catch a Squirtle as well. You can see we have Squirtle here. I was really, really happy with catching Squirtle. I just need to get Charmander and I have the trio. Uh, I want to get a Clefable as well because Clefairy. They're not common, but there's a... They're, they're giving a Clefable. With, I just feel like Clefable would be great. Same with Wigglytuff, actually. Um, but I am going somewhere next week. Uh, so hopefully I should be able to find some really, really cool Pokemon in the, in the set place I'm going, which I'm really, really excited about. Should be able to record some cool Pokemon Go videos or some out there. But uh, I'm going to end this video off right here. If you guys have enjoyed this Go video, please leave a thumbs up down below. It'd be super awesome of you. Uh, next week, I should have a Go video coming up within the next week or so. Because um, I will be tra traveling, so I should be able to, you know, record my screen and get my camera and show some off, show, show some new environments off that I haven't been to before and catch some new Pokemon and take some gyms off in a place I haven't been to. So I'm really, really excited about that. But um, yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.